I am going to discuss about simple harmonic motion. Drawing three, there are drawing three examples. One is Earth rotates about the sun. So we know that the rotation time is constant. That is time period of revolution is constant. That is one year. So after one year, the Earth comes to this initial point again after one year comes to initial point so this has a particular time to revolution and it repeats the path again and again and again for each revolution there will be another pro example that the simple pendulum they oscillate along this path and again comes to this point after a certain time t again it comes to the point again and come back so this also repeats its path time to time means for every t time it repeats the path again there will be another example let this spring and we apply a force means pull with a force and release then the spring goes to in oscillation mode that is it oscillate up and down up and down so for a uh, there will be also a particular time then it cover comes to this point and again come and come back so for each time time t it repeats its path so these three are in common in a one sense these are time or time period is constant so this is this type of motion is called periodic motion periodic motion all these three are in periodic motion now for the first case we know that force is gravitational force that is g m of sun m of earth by distance square so always this is constant as mass constant distance constant but these two have a different phenomena so this is a pendulum of mass m that is the m g is along downward so if this angle is theta with the vertical axis then this also theta and this gives m g cos theta and this the tangential gives the force m g sin theta which is responsible for this motion so if theta is increasing then mg sin theta also increasing means if the force is not constant it is not constant force not constant means depend on theta Th again theta can be explained in terms of the displacement so in linear displacement let this is y so y is the linear displacement it comes to zero when pendulum comes here and it comes maximum when pendulum comes to end point so theta also decreasing when y also increase it decreasing so y proportional to theta so we can call force proportional to theta that is force proportional to also y so y increasing means this is the zero y goes to zero point so this is the y goes to i maximum point so direction of y is along this direction so force proportional to y large y means large force restoring force obviously means a force stored in this body or externally we give a force but it acts as a restoring force so a proportional to y again a is proportional to y but measurement of y or y has a direction in along this but force is act along opposite to the y so in this case in the case of a spring this also similar force increase the y means y is large means there will be large restoring force 
but in opposite sense so we can take f as proportional to minus y or simply a equals to a force constant minus k y so this is the basic equation so but if for the first example there is no such thing force is always constant so this is not a periodic not a simple harmonic oscillation only periodic motion so these two are second and third example only have the property of simple harmonic oscillation so a equals to minus k y the basic equation for simple harmonic oscillation it can be convert in differential form because we know a equals to force equals to mass into oscillation that is d2y dt2 so just put in this equation m d2y dt2 equals to minus ky implies m sorry implies d2y d2y dt2 plus k by m y equals to 0 finally you can write it d2y dt2 plus omega square y equals to 0 this is the differential equation for a simple harmonic oscillation where omega equals to root over k by m is a constant and you also technically called angular frequency